Hello, Melissa. How are you doing today? I am good, thank you. Good. My name is Peter. What we're going to be doing is taking a picture of your whole body using a machine here called a DEXA scanner, and it's able to look at your total weight and tell us how much of it is made of muscle, how much is made of bone, and how much is made of fat. Oh, great. So for the scan, I'm going to get you to lay down with your head up at the top end here, feet down there. Perfect. Are you comfortable there? Comfortable. All right, so I'm going to start moving the bed now. It's about seven minutes. I'll let you know halfway is through. And that's a scan. Not too bad, eh? Not too bad. Excellent. So, in your entire body, you've got about 31 pounds of fat. You've got 72 pounds of lean tissue, so that's your muscle, your organs, everything that's not fat or bone. And four and a half pounds of bone holding you up. So, what that comes out to is about a 29% body fat, which is perfectly in the middle of our healthy range. So, sort of that 15 to 35% is appropriate for women. And you could be as high as 6% higher body fat and still be considered that healthy range. Now the other variable is that muscle mass. You've got 72 pounds of muscle mass now, and you're saying that you'd like to increase that a little bit with some weight training. Yeah. And that's going to give you some other benefits and that, that will boost your metabolism because your muscle mass is burning calories all the time. So if you put another 10 pounds of muscle mass on, your body's gonna burn about 200 extra calories a day. So that's one of the main reasons of, of increasing the muscle mass. Now the bone is something that we're also interested in increasing, but it's a very slow changing part of your body. So your bones would have been at their strongest about three years ago when you were 30, mm -hmm. and they're gradually going to be losing about 1% of their mineral content for the rest of your life. The things that you can do to help keep that high is exercise, especially weight bearing exercise, dark leafy green vegetables, and sunlight exposure, or in the winter months vitamin D, because we really don't get that much uh, vitamin D production here in the winter. And then one more thing we can look at is how much you should be eating based off your muscle mass. Because if we had another girl who weighed the same as you but had more fat and less muscle, she wouldn't eat as many calories every day. And a more muscular girl at the same weight would need a few more calories. So your body would burn about 1,100 calories at bed rest based off that muscle mass. And then you were telling me you train about four or five hours a week. So that means to stay the same weight, you'd need about 1,700 calories a day. Um, I also like to encourage clients to eat healthy amounts of protein, fat, and a little bit of carbs with each meal, and ideally trying to get that all from whole foods. So really cutting out, you know, the basic stuff, the sugars, the refined flours, the white rice, minimizing those carbohydrates really helps improve the body composition and, and means that you don't need to restrict the amount you need as much. So it uh, keeps you feeling full longer, will give you better athletic performance, so it's really a nice balanced package. So you're at a good starting point here. Now, as a general goal, I'd say that over the next year, even if we can get another five pounds of muscle mass onto you, and essentially, do you, do you want to reduce fat as well, or are you not particularly concerned about I'm that? I'm not particularly concerned. Good, so let's just more or less try to keep your weight somewhere around the same level mm -hmm. with a slight increase in muscle mass, and you'll probably find that the fat decreases slightly as a result of the weight training you're going to be doing as well. Right. And uh, we'll get you back in another six months to make sure that you're on the right track. Okay, see you in six Excellent. months. See you in six months, thanks.